Every day is made of gray, gray dust. And I'm caught in a muddle of my fantasy, always trying to find a way of being calm in some place. A fantasy, a, a reality that's worth shit if I believe with blind faith that it is the only true, valid reality. So what now? What do I really need? What is it that I must do? I keep forgetting. I'm feeling like me again, and that's not a good thing. I feel like the son who is now a man, but has not yet grown up. He never grew up. He tries to act desperately in the right cue, but can't because he's unable to express himself. He can't talk. He's got no time in, and he is mute like a child. Oh, I used to think that the mechanism of self-destruction was a form of lasciviousness. But now I'm realizing that it is nothing more than a form of commodity, the worst of them all, obscene and perverse to the ventricles. How is it possible that I feel so sad so fucking often? This distress is like a break that I'm unable to lift. A product, I think, of, of a dominant swing in me that slightly tilts the ground to one side every time I try to move. At every bend, my body is caught a little off balance, and I become bitter and resentful that the scale is gauged the way that it is. What's worse, what if not another relapse of my emotions? That would be disastrous. That would be the end of me. All right, enough. I have to blend in with all this clutter and embrace my random chances to win. I ought to at least try to accept the overbearing, losing odds. I can feel it. What's still to come is the worst part, and I know it. I'm tied to the mass of a wrecked ship that will not take me home. I am utterly lost. I'm barely a vapor. I'm a wallflower, wilting. But I'm also sick to the stomach. It's sick of my drama. It's like a poison that seeps from between the spaces of these tiles. Because to become a mosaic on a pattern wall is to lose your grip. I don't want to be confused anymore. Though I simply can't pretend to be okay with the reality that I'm no longer able to fantasize. My better days are forgotten and relegated off to the back burner. The swing stops abruptly and I am propelled down a dark spiral. If I go mad, I swear I will at least have the luxury to assert that it was neither the drugs nor my seclusion, but that it was my heart. It was my heart all along. It has incited me to be like this. Will I accept me? Once I affirm the validity and the courage essential to make such a leap, the white will plunge onto me like the grind of a new day.